Shut the front door. Woo! It is sick. That's awesome. Thank you. It only has three wheels. Bro, everyone's looking in the cars. Dude, everyone. that's so crazy. Yo, what is going on, guys? It's your boy, FaZe Rug. Welcome back to a brand new vlog. We are here at the mall, and we're gonna be asking random strangers if they're willing to trade the bag that's in their hands for this mystery bag. Hope you guys enjoy the vlog. It's about to be a lit one. Hey, it could be a high value in here. It could be a low value. We'll see if anyone's willing to do it. Hmm. Excuse me, are you willing to trade that bag for this? No, my wallet's in here. Are you willing to trade those two bags for what's in this bag? Are you willing to trade that bag for what's in this bag? No, thank you. Are you willing to trade what's in your bag for this mystery bag? Are you willing to trade what's in that bag for this bag? Oh, oh it was Creed. That would have been fire. Yo, I was wondering if you're willing to trade what's in that bag for this bag. 500 bucks. This so bag? But do you know what's in here? I don't know. Bro, it. Oh. Okay, okay. Hey, I respect it. I respect it. Thank you. Have a good one. Are you willing to trade the Nordstrom bag for what's in this bag? All right, of course. I'm going for like the high ones. <laughs> I'm not really sure, but I really want to trade it. You want to now? Five, four, four three, okay, okay. Two, let's go. Yes. Let's make the official trade. Let's All are from India. Hey, hey, you guys are from India? I want to visit India one day. I would love to. Okay, I'll open this first. Oh, a Versace bag. This is insane. I want you to, yes, open it right now. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Wait, there's more. What else is in there? Yeah, hey, that's fine. Open that, open that. Oh, it's a wallet. A little card holder. Okay, now I have to ask you the important yeah. question. Was it worth the trade? It's it's yeah. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. I appreciate you guys. Guys, I just met these supporters out from London. She is one of my biggest fans. If you want to give yourself a shout out right now, just say hi. I appreciate you. Thank you guys so much. She actually manifested this too, right? She was saying that she wanted to meet FaZe Rug coming down to San Diego. She was like, oh, I want to go to San Diego. I want to go to San Diego. So we ain't the same. San Diego is massive. She manifested this. The manifestation. I appreciate you so much. All right, let's get a picture. We're taking a little break here and we're eating some Shake Shack and I'm pissed. This dude is saying Shake Shack is better than In-N-Out. Clears. And you were roasting how I was holding my burger. What's the problem? <laughs> bro, I hate when he, people do that. Look how he holds his burger upside down, bro. Okay, so you're saying I'm supposed to do it like this? That's the top, this is the bottom. Why is it weird that I look at the top of my burger? You know what, we're gonna ask everyone in here, non-biased opinions, In-N-Out or Shake Shack. Hi guys, In-N-Out or Shake Shack? Shake Shack. In-N-Out. In-N-Out or Shake Shack? Shake Shack. Guys, In-N-Out or Shake Shack? Four to one. Yes. I would have to go with the In N Out burger, but the fries here. That's what I said. Fries are better here. In N Out or Shake Shack? Would you lose your job if you said In N Out? Shake Shack. Shake Shack. Shake Shack? Good, yeah. No, In N Out. Shake Shack. All right. I think Shake Shack won the debate today. In N Out. Let's go. Let's go. I love you. <laughs> Why don't you let us know down below? Do you want me to sign your arm? Mm -hmm. So is this the one where you're gonna get it like tattooed after? Oh, that's clean. Thank you Thank so you. much for the support, guys. I appreciate it. All right, guys, we are at the beach and we're about to set up a table with this sign that says something you wish you said. It might get a little deep. I've seen these on TikTok. We're gonna let it sit for like 20 minutes, let a bunch of random strangers write stuff, put it in a jar, and then we're gonna read a few. Hopefully this helps people by letting it out because I know when I'm stressed, if I can just like write it somewhere or talk to someone that I love, it always helps. So let's do it. All right, I think we got enough. Let's go read them in the car. First one. I wish I said hello when I knew I needed to before it was too late and you left us. Something I wish I said was asking for help when I was struggling to see the light. Oh man, I could kind of relate to that. Sometimes it's hard to reach out to people when you're struggling because you might think that you're a burden. You might think that like people don't care as much as they actually do. Literally reach out to anyone, whether it's a parent, teacher, friend, so many people care about you. Hopefully that's in the past now and hopefully you found the light. I wish I had told my grandfather how much I loved him and appreciated him before he passed. Oh, I'm so sorry about your loss. He's definitely in a better place. I know he's proud of you and he's looking down at you right now. I wish I told my best friend that I love him before he got with my childhood friend. I hate that I waited and now it's too late. I love him and now he's silently broken my heart. Wow, I'm super sorry to hear that. My piece of advice is to keep your head up, stay positive. You will find the right one one day. These are actually really deep, but if any of these actually helped you guys out, I want to do more of these there's so many other things we could ask strangers and get their answers so if you guys want to see more parts like this in my videos please let me know 
All right, guys, we're gonna be playing a game with Mama Rug and Papa Rug. Pretty much, this is called Tapple, and we're gonna be given a category. And we have to list things in that category that start with these letters. The last person to actually answer something has to get shocked by oh. the shock potato. Oh my god. I hate these things. This reminds me of when we played hot potato with that one yeah. shocking ball a long time ago. All the OGs will know. But every round that we play, the shock potato will get more and more intense. There's three intensities lame, normal, and extreme. So we're gonna start with lame. First category, animals. Go. Okay. Dog. Okay. Elephant. Lions. <laughs> Iguana. It's I, it's I. Okay. <laughs> Frog. Coyote. Horse. Anaconda. Bear. Ooh. <laughs> Rabbit. Ooh. Walrus. It's a cruel. Morad. Yeah, Morad, go. <laughs> Octopus. Coyote. Hey, that's not it. It is. That's a potato. It's, Papa Rug lost that one. Okay. So it's on lame. We're about to start it. And Dad, you have to hold it like this. Oh. All of these shock right here. Hold it. <laughs> There's no shock yet. You have to wait. Oh, I have to? <laughs> wait, it hurt on lame? Now we got to bump it up to normal. So he got it easy. Category is fast food places. Go. Jack in the box. In and out. Wendy. <laughs> McDonald. Canes. Burger King. Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> Rallies. Chick fil A. That's, that's a G. Uh, again. Um, oh, and then uh, McDonald's. Yes. No. Okay, Dad, you're on normal. Here we are. Here we are. Really? I should say when it's going to do. Ah! Oh! Why? <laughs> oh, I don't want to lose this next no. one. Last one on. Extreme. Dad, you gotta lock in. Last round for the extreme shock with the potato. Uh -huh. We got celebrities. He's losing. Go. Okay. Go. Wait, okay. you started oh. without for her. Okay, Pamela Anderson. Uh, Kylie Jenner. Arnold Schwarzenegger. I was gonna say that. Jack Nicholson. Ice Cube. Swag. Who's Ooh. swag? Face swag? No. Um, wait. Drake. Swag! It's gotta be someone's swag. <laughs> it's on extreme. Don't turn it on. Okay, go, go, hold it. So guys, this one for extreme, it actually doesn't make noise. So it's oh, it super random. I love you. I don't love you guys. <laughs> ah, I didn't swag. That's not fair. And then I did D. What's the D was for? It's Drake. Drake. That's funny that he lost all three rounds. Yay! <laughs> All right, guys, the moment you have all been waiting for, the moment I've been waiting for. I was scrolling through Instagram the other day and I saw this crazy car that looked like it was from the future. And I didn't even know if it was real or fake, but I reached out to the company and I asked if they could bring it to my house so I could show you guys. And they were down. The car is literally sitting in my driveway right now. I haven't seen it in person yet because I wanted to wait for my raw reaction for you guys. Let's go check it out. Don't get me wrong, I love my Lamborghini, but am I gonna love this car more? We'll see. The car is literally right there i'm not looking i'm not looking wait there's a mirror right there i don't want to look hold on i'm gonna close my eyes okay let me know when to walk out Noah, can you position me to where i could see the front of the car three two one bro what is this bro this is literally from back to the future so this is called aptera motors the car hasn't even come out yet they're trying to roll out at the end of 2024 oh my gosh look at the side bro what is this shape dog so the one thing i don't know if you guys noticed yet there's only three wheels one in the back and two on the sides come on what is this so guys this car is actually fully solar powered as you can see on the roof these are solar panels so right this second it's charging from the sun if this is fully charged you can drive for a thousand miles without stopping so you can drive this from california all the way to seattle without stopping i think to open the trunk you give it two taps brother so this car is a two-seater but as you can see in the back you could fit a surfboard back here but it's also designed to actually sleep two people so if you're on a road trip you don't even have to worry about a place to stay you can just park your car and sleep in the back seat the fact that the wheels are in here too like seeing this on the road would freak me out and that's what we're gonna do guys we're gonna take this to the beach to also get reactions to unlock the door you do the same double tap on the outside butterfly doors bro so we have the half 
cut off steering wheel. And as you can see the display in front, these are actually your side view mirrors. So you technically don't even have to tilt your head left or right. You could just look straight and you could see your side view mirrors. And on top of it, the rear view mirror is also a digital camera. We're literally living in the future. Like we're about to experience some crazy things in the next 10 to 15 years. This is just the beginning. I don't even know how to drive, but look at how cool the brake and the gas looks. Should we uh, hit the hay? Let's go. If you're LeBron James, you're not sleeping back here. So you can bring your blankets, your pillows. Have a fun time back here. For someone who's 5'6", this works perfect. Dude, I'm excited to actually drive this. Thing. So as you can see on the screen, there's a solar charging station. It says charging on. It says the roof is getting 43 watts and the dash is getting 23 watts. That's pretty low only because it's a little cloudy now. But when the car actually comes out, it can charge up to 40 miles a day from all the solar panels. Okay, you ready to take it for a spin? It's getting a little hot in here, so we should lower the window from the screen. Now to put this bad boy in drive, it's literally just a touch screen. Drive. Bro, it sounds like a spaceship too. So guys, when we're reversing, it literally shows it on the rear view mirror. Going down a hill is scary, bro. I think driving this around the beach will be crazy. We'll get some awesome reactions. I say we do. All right. We're here at the beach. I'm a little bit scared driving it because it is just the prototype. It's scary, bro. I mean, it's a whole new vehicle, but this is one of the sickest things I've ever seen or driven. What do you guys think of the car? Okay, Yo, Fire. it's sick, right? Yeah, let's get it. What do you guys think of the car? It's crazy. It hasn't even come out yet. Hey. Thank you so much. It's called Aptera Motors. It's not out yet. It's just the prototype, but no gas and it's all solar panel. No emissions at all. Just all Nothing. Have a good one. Do you get so many looks on the road with this thing? Let's go, guys. Bro, everyone's looking in the cars. Dude, Everyone. that's so crazy. Look, they're recording, bro. Everyone's rolling their windows down. I mean, bro, if I saw a car that I've never, ever seen before on the road, I'd be freaking out right now. People honking and stuff. What? Yo, yo. What do you guys think? Thank you. Yo. <laughs> what happened? What happened? Did he run into the pole? Yo. Woo. Should I rev it? Yeah, <laughs> there are so many people just staring. Oh my gosh, this is lit, bro. The fact that this car has three wheels is insane. <laughs> Thank you. Think I'm good, right? <laughs> he said, yo, what is that? That's face rock. <laughs> I did not expect that many looks on the road, guys. Yo! I love you guys. Thank you, bro. Thank you. It's my new car. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Thank you, bro. Yo, every single person is turning heads, bro. Every single person. What do you think of my new car? Awesome. Thank you. It only has three wheels. Yo, you're vlogging? Wait, can I grab it? Hey, what kind of camera is this? Guys, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. This is called Aptera Motors. It's all solar panels, so like it charges through the sun. This is the coolest thing, bro. I've never seen this many people look at a vehicle. What is that? It's called Aptera. It only has three wheels. Yeah. All right, have a good one. Damn, this is sick, bro. Imagine seeing this for the first time, bro. What do you guys think of the new car? It's fire, huh? What do you think of my car? What is the new car? No, it's called Aptera. It hasn't come out yet. Oh, wow. It's crazy. It's crazy. Oh, my God. I love this car. Hi. <laughs> all solar power. You said solar. Yeah. Shut the front door. That's all solar. We're going to be in the vlog? Hey, of course. We're right here. Let's go. You want to actually end the video with me? All right, guys. That is the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed. What should they do? Y'all should have a great day, bro. Hey, guys, guys. Check this out. Yo, I have a crowd. Ready? Ready? Watch this. <laughs> we'll see you with the next video. Peace.